cannot pull this one out. At the National Museum based in Nairobi, I get to interact with Dr. Charity Nguyo. Uh -huh. Dr. Nguyo's studies in pharmacology exposed her to the numerous side effects of conventional medicine, leading her to embrace the natural healing power of herbs. I personally use a lot of ajuga remota. It's a good medicine. For my case, I've never used anti-malarial drugs all throughout my life. I have been relying so much on Wanjiru Waduli, that is a jugal motor. And for menstrual problems, I can testify from my daughter that it has been of great assistance. Dr. Nguyo's sentiments find resonance in the experiences of Francis Minor, a seasoned herbalist with three decades of practice. Ndiyo nipate kujua ya kwamba hii ni dawa ya malaria, nilijifunza na wengine. Lakini pia ninapo ingia kwenye masomo, kwenye vitabu. Francis passionately advocates for collaboration between herbalists and scientists to ensure the quality and effectiveness of herbal treatments. Over at Kenyatta University, Dr. Meshak Onyambu commends the integration of traditional medicine into the national healthcare system aligning with the World Health Organization's recommendations. One of the medicinal plants that was, that was highly touted mm -hmm. as uh, being used uh, to mitigate COVID was actually Wabugia ugandensis, this plant here. Interviewing patients and those that were, the herbalists were giving what you call anecdotal evidence, they say it worked. At a research center within the university, scientists undertake the cultivation, efficacy testing, and processing of herbal medicine, emphasizing the importance of proper preparation. When can a herbal medicine cause harm? When it's given in wrong dosages, not properly processed, that is, has contaminants. They can de destroy the liver, they can destroy the kidney, and over time you just find that you are, you, are, you are dead. Proper cultivating and processing of herbal medicine is crucial. For instance, Eucalyptus is often boiled to counter colds and cough, but there is more to it when done extensively. So after condensation, tunapata imafuta, alafu imaji inateremka hivi. So imaji tunakolect here, imaji tunatumia, uneza kunwa, you dilute it and then take it, uneza tumia kwa beauty industries, hi oil inatumika sana sana, kwa massage, aromatherapy, kwa hospitali. The absence of clear regulations regarding practitioners and use of herbal products by Kenyan citizens is the greatest challenge facing the market. The Health Act of 2017 acknowledges traditional medicine practice but falls short in providing comprehensive guidelines. Most herbalists have not been able to attain the necessary requirements for registration. Many of them prefer to register under the Department of Culture because it's their indigenous knowledge that they are registering. And uh, they have difficulties complying with the requirements of the Minister of Health. You have to show evidence that the herb is not toxic. You have to show evidence that the herb works. In anticipation of the operationalization of provisions of traditional and alternative medicine in the Constitution, both scientists and herbalists are hopeful for the establishment of policies and regulatory institutions. These bodies will guide the practice, offering clarity on registration, licensing and compliance with set standards. Ben Kerera K24, Health Beat.